At the beginning was the sound of bird, from which the man felt inspired and started to play music. For those who still follow their traditional religion, dance and music are God's gift. Bodo people they believe that in early period there was a world man who has seven sons. And seven sons, uh, they have uh, wives, seven wives. And the world man, uh, he, takes, he takes care of uh, much about his youngest daughter-in-law, that's why he send all the sons and except youngest other daughter-in-laws also who walk uh, to another place uh, he sent them to earn something and they comes they come during festive uh, festival season only so in the home the old man and his youngest daughter-in-law they only used to stay but uh, people used to think otherwise uh, that the old man loves his youngest daughter-in-law, that's why he kept her in his home. That's why youngest daughter-in-law, she felt guilty and she left his father-in-law's home. Hmm. Uh, he couldn't find out where she left, where she has gone. Uh, that's why he was, that old man was moving in search of his youngest daughter-in-law. Uh, if he cannot find out his youngest daughter-in-law, his other sons, if they come to house, their home, uh, he will be searched. So it is his duty to find out his youngest daughter-in-law. Hmm. Uh, he was tired. One day he was very tired. That's why he was taking shelter under a tree, under the shadow of the tree. Hmm. On, that, on that day and at that time, a person appeared, appeared there. And that person asked him, uh, where are you from? Why are you here? And what are you looking for? Then that old man explained everything about his daughter-in-law and his sons. And that uh, appeared person, that person, that uh, particular person, he suggested him, uh, if you want your daughter-in-law, if you want to find out your daughter-in-law, then you have to do something. Hmm, you have to do something because we are created by our Supreme God Batu. So, to find out your daughter-in-law, you have to pray him, you have to uh, make him peace, so that you do, uh, you do one thing, you observe Kerai festival. You observe Kerai festival, and you have to observe that Kerai festival in that way, where dance, music, everything should be there. As per his suggestion, that old man, he uh, tried to observe uh, Kerai festival and he has invited all the neighboring peoples who help him to, who help him to invent some kinds of music, some kinds of uh, traditional music, some kinds of music uh, like, like drums, like uh, serza, and cymbals, uh, all these musical instruments are invented and some kinds of dances are uh, formed to amuse Batogurai. Musical instruments have their own importance. They are used in dance, vocal singing, demonstration and devotional performances. Playing of instruments varies according to time and place. Like drumming is a popular art and largely used for sacred and devotional music, Yet the different styles and the types used connote different meanings. The different tribal instruments are composed of different kinds of drums, bamboo, hornwind instruments, conks and cymbals. All flutes are made of bamboos. There is no decoration or inscription on them. Now the limitation of using this flute, it will be stopped in the month of uh, August. Why? Because in the August, the rice plants, no, 
still to come to the flower, no? No, rice flower. No? So that time comes, means the flute should not be played. If someone is found playing the flute, no, he will be fine. When you play this flute, no, then the wind comes. Hmm. The wind comes, the wind blows. So when the wind blows, means pollination has been despoiled. No? The Kuki and Kong tribes also play bagpipe, which is called Rushem. This one is guard, made up of guard. This one is bitter guard. And this is bamboo. The species of the bamboo, there are many types of bamboo, but among this bamboo, we especially use kacheru, the type of bamboo for this rusem. Then, and this one, these are the parts of the musical instrument. These are uh, especially for the decorative purpose, and number two, it helps in the harmony of the sound. Drum is one of the leading instruments. In the absence of drum playing, the fun of music, dance and festive spirit may remain lifeless and incomplete. This drum is made by themselves. And this drum made from a tree. And its cover is cow skin. The functions of drums are manifold. It controls the movement of dance and provides a certain rhythm. If a leader of the village dies, the drum is played to pay tribute to the departed soul. Wooden log drums are one of the amazing creations of the Aos and Cognacs. The size of the log drum varies from place to place. Log drum in the Morongs and Ang House plays a very important role in Cognac society. During our long time, they beat the log drum and then people uh, come together at the beat of the log drum and they will practice singing and dancing and when when there is some emergency things happening in the uh, community they beat the log drum that is two beats and people will come together and uh, rescue example from the fire broke out and some other things like uh, animals attack somebody then they will beat uh, three times and then they will come together by the herring of the uh, log drum another one is victory when they come uh, hunting head or hunting animal uh, they come and beat the log drum and that is also uh, another beat another rhythm of the beat is there. so they come to know that oh they have killed or they have uh, done something one particular log drum I know is uh, we in our local, local dialect there's that tree's name is Ganglan and that that is also uh, that uh, is very good for this log drum and then uh, some other wood which can make sound they need to choose the best one and then community people go and then pull the log drum and keep in the morongs or ang house also have a log drum so uh, individual cannot keep the log drum the trumpet is one of the oldest musical instruments. It is considered as the king of musical instruments. There are different functions of trumpet. When there is an attack by enemy on the village, the gatekeeper immediately blows the trumpet to signal main members to get ready to fight the enemy. After the warrior returns home victorious, the message is circulated by blowing the trumpet. Normally the villages, which do not use block drums, use a trumpet for passing on information to the village. The use of trumpet varies from one tribe to another. Regarding the Raba one, the Tsunga is peculiarly used for celebration. <laughs> okay. 
we can find small ones made out of the top of a buffalo horn to which a bamboo mouthpiece is attached. The second kind of trumpet is made out of the wall of the buffalo horn. The Jew's harp is made out of a thin slit of bamboo. One hand of the short piece of string is fastened to Jew's harp and to the other hand a small bamboo handle is attached. The gongs are usually made out of brass metal. They are used for various purposes by the girls. The sounds produced also fulfill different functions. The peculiarity of all these tribal instruments is that they are all made from natural products, as wood or animal skin. Naturally made from natural, uh, mean like wood or, and the skins of animals. Deuterra, that hollow part is covered with Komodo dragon's skin. But not that a big Komodo dragon like we saw in natural traffic or animal planet, but small, small one like, like this big. Badung Dunga. Badung Dunga. Ah. Oh. And this is made from the special type of bamboo. The sound of violin has also attracted many tribal groups. They used to make it from bamboo and coconut. It is made above the tree called Marwong. Marwong tree. Marwong. Hiwain Thirui. This one is. Hin Chawun. I don't know where. Hin Ru. And this one is Chawun. Cow skin. And the small one is made of bamboo. Hey, Ru! Hey, Ru! It can... We can use any type of bamboo for this small one. And this one is just for decoration. This one is dove. If some instruments are played only for religious purpose as the Mampas one, most of the other instruments are played during festivals to lead the rhythm of dances. To the music, the man had to add lyrics, to express in words what he cannot express in notes. As chorus and painting, songs give a different matter to music. Among the different themes of song we can find, the ritualistic one have been modified to be preserved. Before the Donipulo, the temple thing was not there. As the priests are dying, there's very less priests in our clan now. So just to preserve the chanting, they made the chanting into a song and they prayed them in the temple. Just to preserve the chanting. Because the chanting thing is a god gifted. Now it is hardly to find in the, in the uh, upper people. So the person who had a god gifted, they were the priest before. And they, now it is slowly losing. So just, so before it lose completely, they took the chanting as a song and they 
we started to pray the Doni Polo. Montrose, earlier it was uh, sented by the Dauris, but now it is recorded in book form. Uh, so they read out those Montrose. And those Montrose are basically uh, for the welfare of human beings, they pray Batu. For the welfare of a human beings, for the welfare of villagers, for the welfare of harvest, uh, harvesting, they pray the Batu. Most of the songs deal with the peculiar daily life of each tribe and are usually performed with dances. The songs were also used as medium to make meet young people. Young boys and girls in group, they used to go to the field, which is called I. Today, uh, all of us will go to my field, tomorrow to your field, and day after to other field. So that is called I. And then when boys, boy group happen to uh, walk near the field where the uh, girls group are walking, then that day they will they will fix a uh, time that uh, this evening after finishing our work we'll go go back to our village and uh, we will dance or uh, we will sing together. So that time the exchange there's uh, the word of uh, love and romance through singing together in the resting place or uh, uh, in the morong. No? Usually, other time, girls are not allowed to enter the morong. But during the uh, this time, when the dating between the boys and girls group are there, the uh, girls freely enter to the morong. As any other communities, love songs are numerous. <laughs> We can also find songs which revolve around mythology. Yeah, when we go through this story, when we are uh, also these uh, elder people, they told that uh, they when they try to come out of this world, they were blocked out by this uh, Pharisees tiger. It was blocked by this Pharisees tiger. When they overpower the tiger, they could come out of this uh, world. That means, uh, at that time, they thought that one of the person who called him Puam, just like this, uh, wearing this silk cloth. When he talked with this, <coughs> uh, when he talked with this uh, tiger, see, my strip and your strip is the same. So please don't kill me. Because let have a friendship with you. That's why when they have a friendship, they witch the tiger, bewitched by one of the uh, prophet. They witch the tiger. After all, one of the person called Saisepa shoot the tiger by his arrow. Then the tiger died. After all, they could come out from that. After that, when they could control that, when they could uh, kill the tiger. Uh, they sing songs, they enjoy from that onward. This, all these folk songs and folk dance are or, uh, what's it, originated. <laughs> Abu may Kako Gotang Ume E. For I am from Nihong Kahonga Kakom Tina Amalara Pacho Lu Kom Kako Lu Kom Kako I don't show now. Alpha.
Then the moment we came out of that cave, uh, we the Kong people used to put long hairs, our ancestors, so to say. So with their long hairs, they bind with this uh, headband. Then with this song also support that proof that we are the what to say we are the man who put this turban we came out of the cave we came out of the cave with the long hair binding our head with that uh, with that cloth so the song was a proof like this <laughs> The songs can also be used to pay tribute to the departed souls, as by the Rabba community. But that they deal with daily life or spirituality, they are all part of the cultural tribal heritage. The problem is that they are often known by elders, but rejected by youngsters. Now the young youngster they cannot understand. That's what I'm trying to say, no? Because all the time I was speaking in different languages. Or maybe terms. Nowadays there is clearly a risk that these sung stories will be lost in the wind. <laughs> Oh, yeah.